It's about 7 in the evening, and the same crew are still at MSC Aviomo's residence. We decide to ask a few of the locals and some of his relatives who the man MSC Aviomo really is to them. MSC Aviomo? Hmm. 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 MSC Ayomo is an incorporable brother. In 2021, I called him I was building a house just to see the house. He came home, put me in his car and drove to the site. When we got to the site, he came down from his car and expected the house. After inspecting the house and commending my effort, he promised that he will finish the house for me. He took over the funding of the project to completion. Today, the house stands out with beautiful finishing. Uh, <laughs> This is how he took care of his mother as well. He fed her adequately. I pray earnestly that as he took care of his mother and takes care of everyone, that his children will care for him. This is my prayer for him. Inyọkọlatayin <laughs> Iyo in that eight years in the old bill on a bona. Although I know the hundred years, hundred and fifty, or two two, which you total make me. A papa to snare banogi no more fame. Gog and I bock, Miss Ominoya, and Miss Omemis will be lucky toy. You love a whole way. A papa to snare ban. A mosa. My name is Henry Obiora, uh, head of IT department support and management for ARS group of companies. Uh, Senior High Chief MSC Aviomo. For the while I've known him, is a, a force to reckon with. He's somebody that influences you positively. Okay. Kremer Aviomo is my senior brother. He's a nice man. Nice to all brothers and sisters, you know, the family, not even only our family, to everybody, to everyone. It's very nice. Because I know some people, even in other states, that they help. They like helping people for here and there. And I pray for him. He will continue. God will give him more power to do more. As he continue doing, God will empower him more and more. In Jesus' name. He's an noble man, respect everybody, with children, evil adults, and everyone. He doesn't overlook anyone, no matter the, how you are. He makes somebody who is naughty to become some, somebody. So we are proud to have, be proud to have him as a brother in our family. My name is Mr. John C. Osikena Ogbolu. I'm the, the staff of ARS Oil and Gas in Portacourt, head of operation in Portacourt. So I want to appreciate Mr. Clement Ariyombo, the senior high chief of Wanukido. So I came to across Mr. Clement Ariyombo 1998, where I lost my dad. He had been a good man to me. He took care of me. He wrote for me for why 2009. He pay all my fees, take care of me for federal protein pouch. So I work within uh, Africa Petroleum as a regional stockkeeper. So I have to appreciate him for what he has done for me. And he's a very good man. 
all to date, I've been working within the ARS oil gas importer court. So he's a very good man. So if anybody come across Mr. Clement Ayomo, you make it part of that person's life. So he's a very nice man. Thank you. Opportunity to talk about um, my boss. My name is um, Oyaje Michael. I'm a, um, a staff to Chief, High Chief MSC Aviomo. Um, I have little things to talk about him. Um, you see, um, High, Senior High Chief Aviomo is a professional man. And um, is this person that have integrity. That is, if you really want to say in life, if you really want to know, if you really want to go further in life, I think you should embrace him. You have those um, quality to excel in life. Because one, uh, if I may say, my direct boss, which is um, Reverend Joseph, I could remember up to date, he do call him professor. And he has reason for that. Because an, he's an integrity man. That is the reason why he's calling him professor. And um, again, um, Senior High Chief Aviomo is a very simple man that is. He will give you the loyalty for you to learn. He will give you that simplicity for you to come around him to learn, if you really want to learn. Looking under him, I've achieved so much and I was so grateful in life that I've learned more. My name is uh, Sonny Omogafe. Um, I am an to to uh, MSC Aviomo. High senior high chief, uh, he's a real gem. He's um, he's an epitome of success. He's a man with um, with great acumen. And, um, he's a man who does not take um, um, failure as uh, an option. I I worked with him. I have I lived with him. I stayed with him. He's my father as well. He's a father figure. He's uh, he's my mentor in life, and uh, he's he's an achiever. He's a philanthropist, he's a giver, and uh, in all, he, he, he's a humble person. He's a man that everybody would dream to come across in his uh, in the part of their life. Uh, he's a man who has who knows no bound. He calls a uh, culture, he does not discriminate, he's not a racist, he's not, does not, he's not a tribal person, he's a destabilizer in Nigeria, and um, it is a great honor that uh, uh, we are all celebrating his success today, in, uh, in both in the industry uh, and also in uh, in his hometown, uh, where he has been uh, honoured the way uh, he he deserves it. So, Mr. Aviomo, uh, High Chief, is uh, is a man that uh, everybody should meet, or everyone's dream to meet. I call him my Good morning. Thank you for having me this morning. I have been asked to say something about the cerebral of today, who is going to be honored by our paramount ruler, the Okumagbe of Wepawan of Wepawan Kingdom, Chief Dr. George Egabo, the person of Senior High Chief, MSC Ariomo. MSC Ariomo is an enigma, it's an institution in itself. It's a man in the world of his own. A man imbued with the spirit of tenacity, austerity, doggedness. A man with so many parts, a professional and astute businessman. A man who would like others to go like himself. He's a man that likes to make himself uncomfortable while making others comfortable. In fact, his lifestyle can be likened to a candlestick that burns itself up while trying to give light to others to see. In fact, his life is worthy of emulation. So I advise other people, in fact, if we have at least 20% of his time in our society, 
Society will be a good place to live. In fact, his type and the kind of people we are supposed to have in government will truly serve the people. And of course, as you know, I have been a beneficiary of his kindness. He has taken me as so many of my other cousins, nephews, aunties, as his own children. That is why we why we call him Kama. Kama General, then the wife of Kama General. He's a man of grace, a man who likes to have people around him at all times. You know, the story was told of how one of somebody close to us came to our house. You also know. And I answered, we have football team in our house. That's because at that time, you always have people anytime you come to our house. You know, strolling into the kitchen, serving themselves, you know, without any qualm. So that is the person that he is. Simple, straightforward, simple, easygoing human being. In fact, I have never seen human being of his type. You know. So it's just, you have seen many of his ceremonies. You witnessed one here about three days ago, and so many more you have also witnessed in Lagos. This is a testament to the kind of person he is. He likes to help at all times. Like to, you know, felicitate with people. You know, when the wife was celebrating 60th birthday, the chairman of that occasion, in the person of Otuba Steve, Steve uh, Bosse, said that if you invite MSC to your ceremony, he's not going to tell you that you will not have a chance to come, that he's already, he's already engaged elsewhere. But you can be less assured that he will come. He will come the high schedule, you know, always around. There's hardly any weekend that he does not have his schedule feed up, you know, attending what ceremony or the other. So that is why whenever it's, as I go to witness here today, you will see the large turnout of people that will be here. So I'm happy that our traditional ruler has found him worthy to honor him. Because when you honor people like that, you are actually committing them, you are motivating them to do more for the society, to humanity. So we are glad for what he has done. And this he has replicated in every facet of life. Is in the Christian community, is in the larger society, you know, training people, what people educated. You know, the story was also told of how, as at the time he got married in 1987 to his art he was the only graduate in our society. But fast forward to 2024 20, today, the story has changed. I'm sure you know the story better. So we have so many graduates now. You have chartered accountants, you have engineers, you have named them in various professions. So we are glad that he's a superstar. It's a, it's a brand for the family, not just the family, but we power no as a group. A dusty and Nigeria at last. So I congratulate him for this feat, and I want to believe that more of such honors will come his way. This way. <laughs>
the Uwano community. His, His Royal Majesty, the Almighty the One, Chief Dr. Uchafi Gabo, will be honoring them with senior hygiene. There are in different categories. Those who merit, they will be given. We we'll carry you along as the event of hope. For the gift of their life to us as your people. The Lord, we ask that you will continually bless them by the power of your spirit. You will protect them against every onslaught of the devil. You will lead them, inspire them, direct them by the power of your Holy Spirit. So that no things in their life they will continually give glory to you. Those who don't know you, through the life that they live and the impact that they make. Those who don't know you, they will come to know you. Amen. All these and other blessings we have through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In prison. May the blessings of the Almighty God be with you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. The Lord be with you. I'm <laughs> <laughs>